Logan is here with his family. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Kelm family, hello. Hi. <laughs> Andrea's here, Eric's here, Mason's here, Avery's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Everybody's here. How are you guys? Good. Good. Okay. Glad to be here. Logan, seven years old. Yeah. How was school today? Good. You had a little bit of a test? Yes, we had a spelling test today. Is it on Fridays? Is that when you get your yes. spelling tests? And what school do you go to, Logan? Prairie View Elementary School. Do you remember some of the words that you had on your spelling test today? I know some of them. Just tell me one. What was one I of them? I am. Okay. Didn't. 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 Okay. Um, How do you think the spelling test went? I think I got all my words right. Okay. So it must have been a really good study time that you had before yeah. your test. Who helps you study for your spelling test? Mom or dad. It depends who's here. All right. Who's the speller in the house? Mom, you. Dad? I'm better, probably better at English, and he's probably better at math. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. All right, <laughs> good. Sure. Thanks, you guys, for packing everybody up and coming in. You got out of school, got the boys, girls out a little earlier? Yep. Yeah. Earlier today? So that's okay. They don't mind, do they? No, not at all. All right, okay. <laughs> so um, can we start back at the beginning with Logan? Sure. In case people don't know the Logan story. I feel like we know him because he was our hero last year. Correct. Yeah. And you guys did an amazing job. Your family is Thank heroes. You. Congratulations Thank you. for we that. We loved it. Yeah. Well, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals love you guys too. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so let's start with Logan. Let's start from the beginning. Sure. Logan was born April 20th, 2009. Um, he was a... What seemed to be happy, healthy baby, um, about six months old, we started questioning his milestones. He wasn't um, rolling over or sitting up or crawling quite like the other kids did. Mm -hmm. um, he actually never got to the point of crawling because he could never lift his head up. Um, so at that appointment, we just kind of started putting a bug in the doctor's ear, asking what could it be, um, should we start testing. Um, they kind of were more, it, it just could be a delayed milestones. Mm -hmm. um, so then we started testing. He had blood work done, he had an MRI, and he had genetics testing, which confirmed his <laughs> congenital muscular deficient, congenital, congenital muscular dystrophy, morosin, morosin deficient oh my um, diagnosis. Yeah, it's a tongue tire. I'm glad that wasn't on his <laughs> spelling <laughs> test today. Yes, no. <laughs> I, I can't even <laughs> say it. <laughs> um, so then we started doing therapies, and he was in birth to three, so he was getting all sorts of um, muscles, muscle strengthening and muscle um, stretching done on him. Um, Did that hurt him, do you think? Um, at that point, it didn't. Now his therapies definitely they do. Hurt. Yeah, he has okay. pretty tight muscles. <laughs> You're getting phone calls in. You're getting Good. pledges, and we haven't even given the phone number yet. Look what's happening I here. I love it. Congratulations. Excellent. Logan, I think your fan club's calling in, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask Logan a quick question? Of course. Yeah. Logan, when you have to go in for therapy, how does that feel? Like what? Like your PT. Like your, yeah, your uh, physical therapy, your PT. And doing your stander and doing stretches and does that braces. Does it bother you a little bit? No, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> okay. How about your braces? When you have to wear those at night, does that bother you? Like what? Your elbow immobilizers and your knee immobilizers? Mm. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, you don't care for those very much? Yeah, I don't care for those that, that much. Okay. All right, I can understand that. All right, Mom, let's let's go on here. Just sure. want to know how he felt about that. Yep. Um, at two, he had his first big surgery. Um, he had bilateral hip surgery, where kind of like Maya, they um, broke the bones and set them into a different place because they weren't growing correctly because he had never been weight-bearing. Um, so that was his biggest surgery thus far. Um, how long were you in the hospital for that? Two weeks up in the cities. So it was away from home, away from our jobs, did you guys both stay with him? We both stayed up oh, there, yep. Okay. Um, so we were in a hotel for two weeks, which was not very fun. Um, not to mention seeing him in so much pain. Um, the surgery actually was unsuccessful, so his hips are right back to how they were before, which is kind of um, discouraging to know that we went through all of that to kind of get back to where we are today. Um, after that, he kind of... Um, did pretty well. We ran into some big hiccups this last year. He was diagnosed with um, CVS, which is a stomach migraine or a vomiting disorder. 
And anytime that he gets sick, he loses a lot of weight really quickly. So he gets really unhealthy really quick. And he was in the hospital um, probably seven times in one year um, for more than a two-night stay and trying to get him back up and healthy again and to stop vomiting. Seven hospital stays in mm -hmm. how many months? In 12 months. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Simple things like a cold just will wipe him out <clears throat> so he's really dehydrated. So we'll, we'll bring him in. Andrea has gotten awesome about catching it before it gets bad. So she'll be like, I'm taking him in. we got to get him an IV. And that's shortened a lot of the stays where they used to be seven to ten days. Now it's one or two days. How do you get his nutrition back up um, when, when he's so depleted? What do you do? Right. Before it was IV and then make him eat constantly throughout the day. He's since got a um, Mickey G-tube in his stomach, so we feed him um, through like a pumping system, and he gets nutrition that way. He does eat three normal meals a day, but he's a chatterbox, if you can't tell. So <laughs> huh. getting enough food and calories in to sustain his weight was always a challenge. So having that tube is super convenient, although it's not um, a fun normal for a family. No, I'm sure it's not. Yeah. What, what kind of formula? I mean, what do you use? It's a formula-based, yep. It and then we have a pump that runs it over an hour. Um, and then he gets, that's usually what he eats for breakfast because he's not a breakfast person. Pedia sure is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then he gets it f after lunch as well. And it's, I mean, he's up to 43 pounds, and that took us um, a very short amount of time versus he was stuck at 29, 30 pounds before, so... So getting ready in the morning, what, mm -hmm. what happens under your roof? <laughs> well, there's three of them to get ready, all right. to get ready on the bus. Um, but for Logan, I get him up first because I have to start his feeding right away. It takes about an hour, so he's up fairly early compared to the other two. Um, he usually sits there in his wheelchair doing his feeding, watching Netflix. <laughs> and then I get the other two going. Um, he's got to get his braces on, his shoes on, his coat on, his wheelchair ready. And then it's out the door as quickly as we possibly can. I have another question for Logan. Logan, what do you like on Netflix, buddy? <laughs> what are your favorite shows on Netflix? Pokemon. I don't watch. Oh, is that what else do you watch to any time of the day? Star Wars with Dad. Oh, 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 let's hear it for Star Wars. <laughs> well, it sounds to me like getting ready in the morning is a little bit of a trick. Yep. It's a little bit of a trick. It's you a think juggling it is? act. A little bit of a trick. Uh, so sitting at home, listening to our story today, listening to Logan, talking about his spelling test, and seeing all the good that Children's Miracle Network Hospitals does, why don't you let us know what they did for you guys, for your family? Sure. Um, we first got involved. <laughs> oh my gosh, a thousand dollar donation. <laughs> In case you didn't hear, with all the cowbells and wonderful excitement, a thousand dollar donation just came through. Thank you. Oh my gosh. They hear you. It's just, that is a huge thank you that goes that's out awesome. to our, that's awesome. awesome. Yes. There's a lot of families that are going to be helped with that and that's exactly Absolutely. what we were talking yep. about. What, what, what did your family receive? Yep, we first um, got introduced to Children's Miracle Network during Logan's bilateral hip surgery. Um, obviously being away from both of our jobs and up in the cities, there was a lot of expenses and worry that went along with it and they jumped in immediately. We got gas money and food money and um, our hotel stay was covered um, and it was a super simple process. It wasn't how did they teeth. find you? Did you find them or did they find you? Um, nope. We are doctored down here as well. So Sheila Durant jumped in and knew that we were going up there because they don't have a pulmonology team down here for Logan. Oh, sure. Otherwise, we'd be doctored down here all the time. Um, so we got sent up there and um, they jumped in and gave us whatever we needed, basically. It wasn't a, a difficult process at all and it meant the world to us. Um, but that was just the start of where they started helping us. Logan's needed equipment that insurance doesn't pay for, and it's what very, sort of very equipment expensive. does he need? Yep, um, obviously he has a huge wheelchair, so yeah. getting it in and out of the van was a huge task for us to start. 
Um, we started really little with just fold up ramps that were super heavy and then decided we needed to get a modified van. So they jumped in and helped us. That's a $30,000 modification. And so any support that they gave us was amazing. So that was another big one. And then um, to have wheelchair ramps in our house. Oh. Um, insurance obviously doesn't cover that either. Um, insurance doesn't cover a lot of the big stuff. So Children's Miracle Network helps it. Uh, with that kind of stuff for us as well. You know, it's amazing. We've talked to so many families in the last day and a half, and it seems like every family has a little different story, mm -hmm. and they let us know what they received. Was it hard um, accepting help? Was it was. Yeah, it, for sure. Yeah. You always think there's somebody worse off that could use it just a little bit more than you, so it's hard to ask, but um, as the years have gone on, we've learned how expensive it is to have a special needs child, and it takes a village to raise a normal child, and it takes even more to raise a special needs child. So um, we've come a little ways, and it's gotten easier to ask for help, but we do ask only when it's in dire need, when we can't get the funds anywhere else. So, so last year, Logan was one of our heroes. He was. <laughs> and how did that year go? It was awesome. He's very sad to not be a hero this yeah, year. He loved it. Logan, what was one of your favorite things that you did last year as a hero? What was one of your events that you really liked doing? Mm. Do you have a favorite? Mm -mm. No? You liked all of them? Yeah. You liked them all? You liked to do everything? Mom, how about you? Um, I think the Emerald Ball was my favorite just because. Yeah, Did you like the Emerald favorite. Ball? Yeah. <laughs> you Emerald looked, Ball was You my looked favorite. very handsome at the Emerald Ball. Yeah. Can yes, you tell you him what did. you got to buy at the Emerald Ball? You what did you buy? No, I don't. He bid on a cake and he won yeah. it. What? kind of cake was it? Do you remember what it looked like? What it tastes like? Uh, was it pink lemonade? Pink lemonade. Pink, a pink lemonade cake with a CMN symbol in the middle. A pink lemonade cake with a CMN and H symbol yeah. on it? Wow. <laughs> and it was pretty yummy, I bet, huh? It was. Yeah, and that's that's quite the event, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And he had his two favorite doctors, or two of his favorite doctors, I guess I should say, bidding on his artwork. So it was super fun to watch them battle over Back and, and who were, Let's let's throw yeah. some names out there. Who were the doctors? Um, Doctor Hennessy was his doctor in the, all of his hospital stays. Um, so we got to learn to love her very quickly. And then Doctor Sig Gunderson. Um, he's performed a couple surgeries for Logan and. He has great bedside manner, and him and Logan are like best friends. So, Dr. Hennessy started things off yesterday morning. Did she? Awesome. Yep, she was our first interview yesterday morning. Awesome. She was doing triple. She had her pager on. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and she was working up here on the phone bank, and she was also doing another task, which I forgot. So she was doing three things oh. at once. Yep. Well, and doing interviews. That's She's right. She's a juggler. She was on the phone interviewing that. So she was, yep. she was, that's how we started things off. Awesome. So that was a great way to start the, yes, it start is. the day. I can see why you, why you love her as yes. a physician as well. Yep. Yeah. So um, the phones have been going crazy. That's awesome. Good. We Every love it. Every time you hear that noise, that is another pledge coming in. Awesome. And we had that $1,000 pledge. And what we're going to do is I've lost track. I don't know how many calls have come in. At this point, we need more. Okay, we had four that came in just while our conversation was going awesome. on. You know, we're going to work our way up. You know, maybe let's shoot for 10. It, the sky's the limit at this point. So 781-1477, 1-800-853-6889. And we're going to put the Ultra Federal Credit Union folks. Let's hear a little noise over there. Okay. Okay. And, and the two operators that are on right now trying to talk about the pledges had a little hard time, but, you know, that's what we do around here. We like to have a little fun. Logan, can you turn around a little bit? Can you, can you, uh, okay, give the girls a little wave behind you. Look what they're doing. See the girls on the phone bank? There, give Logan a wave. <laughs> All right. See, that's how we do it. We're all in it together. They're taking their time this afternoon to be with us. You guys are taking your time to be. And I know, you know, sometimes giving us, you know, looking back to what happened is a little hard on you. Yeah, it is. It brings back emotions that, unfortunately, as a parent, you try and forget, but they're always there. Well, you know what? That's why when you 
have a community mm -hmm. of people like this together, and you've got Children's Miracle Network Hospital people following you, and you don't even know it. <laughs> yes. You know, they know what's going on in your lives, yep. and they're there to help you in the For best sure. way. Yep. And when you're calling in with the pledges, and the money stays here local and is taking care, it could be taking care of your neighbor. Exactly. You, you know, never know. Or somebody down. You don't know, mm -hmm. and you know, you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. None of us do. Exactly. None of us. Going do. into these months, it's always hard because. Like Eric said, any cold can send him into pneumonia and then to the hospital, and that money goes away. I mean, the $5 vouchers for meals is huge when you've been here for three days and you have three meals to come up with on your own. So. Well, and I bet you didn't pack a lunch. Right, no. Right. You, know? yeah. Yeah. you don't really come prepared to no, the hospital. No, you do not come prepared yep. when you do that. 781-1477. I know there's some more pledges coming in right now because there's lots of smiles <laughs> from the phone bank, the Blood Center of Wisconsin. We have five right now, and we're working on doubling that but don't you worry a bit because what we're going to do is we are going to just make sure that people know that we're here until six o'clock tonight yes and we will be more than happy to continue to give them the phone number and right now probably people are getting off work at like 4 30 yep you know what and we don't want them taking a chance with on their cell phone we just assume yeah. <laughs> you know yes be safe yes drive you know, safely and and give us a call when you get home because mm -hmm. you know we'll be here to take the call yep and um there's a lot of auction items online that you can bid on. Nice. Did you guys see the Jeeps over there? We did. There's a couple of Jeeps Avery over there. Avery ran over right away and she <laughs> wanted to jump in one and take off. And you know, I don't know if she figured out that if you step on the accelerator, oh. the battery's actually hooked up. Oh. oh, no. So if we see a Jeep fly across the <laughs> lobby here, we'll make sure we run yeah, after perfect. it. Perfect. Yeah, we'll make sure. Yeah, because we've been watching, you know, some, some of our little friends crawl around the Jeeps yeah. today and I'm just waiting. Yeah, for somebody to discover that if you do actually press the accelerator, you will accelerate. Yeah. I'm sure yes. Logan will race them. So, oh, wouldn't it be great? Maybe we can set something up unofficially. <laughs> we'll set up a little race. We can do that. We can do whatever we want. Sure. It's your radiothon. Yeah. We can do whatever we want. 784-1477, 1-800-853-6889. You were talking about some of your hospital stays mm -hmm. that you had. Yesterday morning, there was 22 sick babies upstairs. Ugh. Today there's 10. 12 of them got to go home oh, already. Oh, that's awesome. exciting. Yeah, that is exciting. But can you imagine how busy mm. that that is? That's and a lot of babies. When we've been coming in the last couple mornings when it's dark out, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning we come, that parking lot, there's all kinds of cars. Oh, Grandma and Auntie, say hi. <laughs> Logan, say hi to Grandma and Auntie. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Auntie. Oh, <laughs> thank you. There is nothing sweeter than grandmas and aunties calling. <laughs> there is nothing sweeter than that. And grandpas, too. And uncles. Yeah. We'll take everybody's they, Logan's call. Logan's got lots of aunts and uncles. So You have lots of aunts and uncles? How many aunts and uncles do you have, Logan? Uh, two, aunt, two aunts and four, and four uncles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of people that love you. That is something, that's a big family, isn't it? it and is. support is huge. And I'm sure that you've drawn on that family support. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Joni? You yes. can't. Okay. This just in. Another $500 donation. Goodness. <laughs> That's you know, awesome. it is awesome. <laughs> Just in the, I mean, and the phones are ringing. Yep. I mean, it, look at we both have matching goosebumps on our arms. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is that is just the most incredible news. Seven eight one fourteen seventy seven, and that was a huge. John, thank you so much for giving us that update. So the phone banks are open and they are busy, but don't you worry. Give us a call. Another five hundred dollars. Wow! Wow! Logan, do you like math? Because <laughs> we're going to have you start calculating all of this, oh, would Dr. you? Oh, Dr. Sig's on the phone. Oh, Dr. Sig is on the phone. <laughs> would, you, would you like to say hi to Dr. Sig? He's on the hi, phone right Dr. now. Hi, Dr. Sig. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. He's on the phone right now. Isn't that special? That is so special. Okay, Dr. Sig is making a donation because you know what? You are his hero. That is so special. You know, 
Mom is starting to hear. Where's our Kleenex? Mom is starting in. And it's okay, Mom. It's a, Dr. Sig, we love you too. Thank you much. 781-1477. Logan, you're a very, very special guy. You're a very special guy. And we're so glad that you're here with us. I'm glad you brought your sense of humor with you this afternoon. Because right now we all need a big dose of your sense of humor. So can you tell us a joke? Do you know any jokes? Give us a joke. Yeah, it's a funny joke. Okay, we're ready. All right, everybody, hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Which reindeer is the rudest reindeer? I mean, the reindeer that has a bad attitude. Which reindeer has a bad attitude? Yeah. Okay, well, let's all mull that over. Which reindeer has a bad attitude? Anybody? Can you tell us? Rudolph. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? All right. We like that one. How about another one? I mean, yeah. okay. Why does Santa have three gardens? Why does Santa have three gardens? Is that right? Gardens? Yeah, three gardens. Yeah. How come? Why does Santa have three gardens? So he can go ho, ho, ho. <laughs> getting your material. You got I somebody mean, writing for you? It, it, I learned that from, I want to do it in a play a music class in school. Oh. <laughs> How about one more? Can we you make this more? into a trifecta? You got one more for I, us? No. Okay, that was it. Two's good. <laughs> we're going to end on that note. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. So we're, um, I've lost count. I think seven. I think That's seven awesome. calls at this time. Three more would be great. The amount of calls that are coming in and the amount of pledges is just overwhelming. overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's overwhelming. Let's think about how many families will be able to be helped out just with what's come in in this last hour. It's awesome. How many meal vouchers and, you know, gas money and money for hotels. Yep. And you know what? Camps. Mm-hmm. We talked about that this morning, um, Camp Needlepoint. Yep. And then there's other camps mm -hmm. that um, children that have diabetes, that are going to have diabetes the rest yep. of their life. Yep. And, you know, what they've been telling us, the reason they like to go to camp, it's not because of the friends or the activities. It's because they can be like everybody else. It makes them feel normal. Yep. It's a for normal sure. place for them. Yep. And then another thing that came out of the camp scenario was mom and dad, even though they don't like to... to Send say them it, off. they have a week. Yeah. yeah. They have a week to be mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Sleep in a little bit. Yep. Catch up on the laundry. <laughs> go out and have pizza. Take a nap. Take, take a, a nap. nap. <laughs> yeah. You know what? And, and I don't think, you know, it's a bad thing. No. I think that's okay for parents. But you know what? We never put ourselves up in the top five. No. You know, and so when these camps are helping the kids out, they're helping mom and dad out too. Absolutely. And respite care. Mm -hmm. Respite care is another huge one because sometimes, you know, if you're going to even be able to get to the grocery store, you need somebody to come in because there are, there are cases and there are families that can't pack up right. and get out. And respite care is so necessary. Mm -hmm. So I guess my point in this whole thing is we have another one coming in. Is you just don't know what your needs are exactly. until they're there. And you may not even know to go ask for help or mm -hmm. want to ask for help. Yeah, and really, definitely. that's what this organization is all about. Absolutely. And I see you guys, after a whole year of being heroes, doing all these fundraisers, you're back again helping again. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. we'll continue because this is will. an amazing organization. So when you get the phone call to come in and do this. There's not a question time. in our mind. Yeah. Yep. Giving back another 500. <laughs> wow. You know, I don't, I don't know if there's a record. <laughs> for for generosity in one hour, but we got to be pushing it. We And it's not us. It's what's happening here on the phone banks coming yeah, in. The generosity awesome. of these people is just amazing. That's nine. <laughs> We're going for one more. 781-1477, 1-800-853-6889. You are listening to the Children's Miracle Network Radiothon. Just in case you turn that radio on and you think, what is going on <laughs> over at Gunderson Lobby? Come and see us. Come and see us. Because it's hard sometimes to give people an idea of what is going on here until you come and see that 
we have the enthusiasm. We're all here for the same purpose and the same reason. Yep. But we're not all here for the exact same situation. Right. Situations mm -hmm. vary. Mm -hmm. You know, we um, we had moms today that came in, and, you know, the kids are good now, but they've gone through a couple years where they didn't know if they would ever be able to sleep through the night again. Yep. They didn't know if they'd be able to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, the care that some of these kids, we have number 10. Is that number 10? Oh, we're up to 12. Oh, yeah. 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 So we're over goal. So I think what we're going to do is let you guys go. Thank right. you for Thank hanging you. in there with you. us. Very Logan's funny. already gone. Yeah, he's done. He told a couple jokes and he hit the road. <laughs> so here. you may want to see where your comedian went. Yeah. But you know what, you guys? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. guys. so important. Thank you all for being here for as long as you have and for volunteering. This organization is amazing. So. Thank and you on for that the donors, note, too. The donors, thank you so much for all the calls. We will take pledges until 6 o'clock, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, you. have a thank great you. night. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. You're listening to the Children's Miracle Network Radiothon, a service of the Lacrosse Radio Group.